tipping over and swinging down. So there's a principle that uh, if nothing prevents an object from lowering its center of gravity, then uh, the force of gravity will tend to cause it to move so that it lowers its center of gravity. Now let's think about a simple example. Let's say Tarzan is on a high tree. Uh, he takes a vine and he swings down. So uh, the moment he steps off the branch of the tree, then he uh, naturally starts lowering his center of gravity as he's swinging. Well, uh, due to uh, follow through, he would uh, probably keep swinging past the lowest point. Uh, but after a time, he, uh, if he didn't uh, let go, he would eventually come to uh, rest uh, hanging uh, straight down with his center of gravity as low as possible. Now let's uh, look at this idea in a simpler setting, just a brick sitting on, a, on an incline. So this brick, uh, we could ask, well, uh, will it tip over or not? Well, in uh, this situation, uh, we know that uh, at this angle, the brick does not tip over because if the brick tipped over uh, towards uh, either side, uh, the brick would have to raise its center of gravity and um, uh, it, won't, it won't do that. It will only tip over if uh, rotating would lower its center of gravity. So let's uh, see that in another example here, uh, this first uh, case on the left, uh, this uh, object has this slanted shape and uh, it happens to be that it's in balance, it will not tip over because if it tipped over the center of gravity uh, would have to first come up and then uh, come down, so uh, it does not tip over. Now the uh, the second object on the right, uh, its center of gravity is is higher, and it's positioned here compared to the location of the of the edge where it would it would tip. And now we see that uh, it's going to naturally uh, tip over. It's it's out of balance um, because the center of gravity can just immediately start to go down, and so that's what what it does. Uh, weebles are a, a child's toy, and the, and the slogan goes, Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Well, they don't fall down because uh, they are weighted such that uh, the center of gravity for a weeble is very low, and so uh, if a weeble um, was, to, was to tip over, that would actually have to cause the center of gravity uh, to go up, and so uh, they're very stable in the lower uh, uh, upright position. Now uh, this idea of having the center of gravity uh, located um, far down on an object and, and how that affects stability, uh, well we see that in this um, example here if we have uh, the, the case on the left where uh, the object is top heavy, so the center of gravity is up near the near the top here. Uh, well, in this uh, incline, the object is uh, unstable to tipping over, and and we see that because the center of gravity, uh, as the object just starts to rotate, immediately starts to uh, to go down, and so the uh, the object uh, falls over. Uh, this other uh, case on the right, which is just the the same object turned upside down. Uh, it's uh, stable in this case because the center of gravity here is, is uh, much lower down, and so uh, at this uh, slope, uh, the center, center of gravity would first go up before it would go down, and so uh, in this orientation it's uh, stable against uh, tipping over. Now, uh, this uh, concept lets us understand why uh, wheels roll down a, a slope. Uh, a brick uh, might first be unstable, but then it tips over and then um, 
uh, when it's lying on its side, it's uh, it's stable. But for a wheel, uh, it's always unstable. It's, it, it turns and um, lowers its center of gravity, and it just keeps turning and turning um, and uh, continues to lower its center of gravity when it rolls down a down a ramp. Now. Uh, it's possible to have a wheel that, that does not roll downhill and um, uh, think about how that might work. Well, uh, <clears throat> the way it, you could do that is to have a, a hidden weight inside the wheel so that the center of gravity was not in the center of the wheel but, but uh, rather towards one side. And in this case, uh, because of this position of the center of gravity, uh, rolling would actually require the center of gravity to first uh, go up, um, and so the wheel can just sit on the ramp like that. Maybe a more obvious uh, example would be if we had a wheel that had a hole in it, uh, so the center of gravity of this wheel is, is offset, and uh, this one, uh, if it was to roll downhill, uh, the weight would first have to go up and then go down, so the center of gravity would have to first rise uh, before it could fall, and so the wheel uh, doesn't do that, it doesn't, it doesn't roll. Well, let's uh, look at how tipping over applies in a uh, scheme by the uh, Wiley Coyote. So here, quite obvious what he's um, planning, just in case it wasn't, we see his uh, uh, design, so uh, seems simple enough, and uh, here we go. So uh, what happens is the um, uh, the rock, surprisingly, uh, tips over towards a screen right. Um, now, could that happen? Well, perhaps if the center of gravity was actually located uh, on the far side of the rock for some unusual reason, like there was a vein of uranium uh, in that in that rock. But, but of course, um, it's funny because it's surprising and it's not what what you expect. So um, one, uh, one last thing uh, about this uh, scene, uh, this plumb line has uh, nothing to do with where the boulder would uh, actually land if it, if it fell off here. It's, and it's not the uh, line of gravity or anything like that. It just uh, artistically looks uh, cool to put a plumb line there. So. Now let's look at um, one more uh, example of this principle of um, lowering the center of gravity. Uh, so uh, take a look at this um, uh, demonstration. So, in that uh, demonstration, you see that the um, uh, when we position uh, the hammer on this uh, hinged uh, board, uh, the board actually uh, stays up. Now, uh, this looks surprising at first until we realize that uh, what's happening is this center of gravity, uh, when the board is positioned like this, is as low as possible. And so, um, if the a uh, hinge was to turn and the board was to actually uh, come down, uh, that would actually raise the center of gravity. So um, here the center of gravity is as low as it can get, and so uh, that is the stable position for this. Um, 
So in, uh, in summary, uh, if there's nothing to prevent an object from lowering its center of gravity, then it will fall downward. Um, an object is in balance if uh, tipping over would cause its center of gravity uh, to go up. And a lower center of gravity tends to increase an object's uh, stability uh, for balance. So when the object's top heavy, it tends to be less stable uh, for balance. And when the uh, center of gravity is uh, lower, so it's bottom heavy, then it tends to be, tends to be more stable. Uh, these examples have been mostly for uh, objects, but uh, in the next couple of tutorials, we'll see how directly this applies to the balance uh, for characters in uh, various poses. So we'll see you then.